It's the owner of the shop. He's got a gold tooth. Looks like a fine deal if you like slaw. This whole sordid scene has litigation written all over it. It says, ask me about Grim Fandango. This whole sordid scene has litigation written all over it. It says, ask me about Grim Fandango. It's the Mater D podium. It's the Mater D podium.
It's a pie pan. This pie pan won't do any good there. This serrated knife won't work here. Nothing. 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 Feeling down because your chicks turned to gold? Come to the swamp, get your fortune told. Voodoo and things. Formerly just voodoo. Visit our new location on Plunder Island. says, ask me about Grim Fandango. He's dead. I don't want to touch him. I don't want people always asking me about Grim Fandango. I don't even like looking at it, much less. No, this chick, no, this chicken is too hard to be damaged by mere metal. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. I can't reach that high. This pie pan won't do any good there. This serrated knife won't work here. Now is the winter of our discontentment, Glorious. I don't want to take advantage of the mystic energies. There's a glove in here. Looks too big for me. It's a glove. It's a trail of rum leaking from the keg. Whoa, 
my head is spinning. I gotta lay off the rum. How would you like to join my crew? You seem like a nice enough sort, Guybrush. But a man cannot serve as my captain unless he earns me respect. And how would a man go about doing that? By besting me in a time-honored test of strength. Helping you move? Oh, could you? I just have a bed and a few boxes of books. I, I was just kidding. Was that really the test of strength? No, I'm talking about the traditional Highland display of strength and virility. The cable toss. What in the world is a caber? The caber is a large tree trunk. We go to the field of competition and each of us heaves the caber as far as he can. The man whose caber grows the farthest is the winner. That's just about the stupidest sport I've ever heard of. I watch cable television. Aye, but you cannot argue with tradition. Could you explain this caber tossing concept again? The caber is a large tree trunk. We go to the field of competition, and each of us heaves the caber as far as he can. The man whose caber grows the farthest is the winner. Sounds great. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, I win. By the spiraling bouffant of me, great Uncle McManus. Never before have I seen such strength. Sure, I'll join your crew. I'll wait at the shop until you're ready to leave. I'll need two more sailors for my crew. Now there's a challenge. To the field of honor. Choose your weapon. Cool. It's a banjo case. I choose the banjo. I accept. You do? Last note was wrong. I win. I win. Woo, woo, woo. Yes. You lose. Oh, I am so good. What a sore winner. Want to try again? Sure. I'm just getting warmed up.
What's the matter, brush boy? Can't you keep up? I'm sorry, I just lost myself in the beauty of the melody. Would you like to try again? No. Fine! Quitter! I'll just clear my stuff out of here. Haven't I shamed you enough? You haven't even begun to see me shamed. Back to the field of honor, then. What's the matter, brush boy? Can't you keep up? I just got a cramp, that's all. Would you like to try again? No.
Fight! 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 Sure, I'm just getting warmed up. Wait! Stop! That last note was wrong! Once again, I have proved you unfit to be my captain. Want to try again? Sure, I'm just getting warmed up. Wait! Stop! That last note was wrong! Once again, I have proved you un- Want to try again? Sure, I'm just getting warm.
You're a pretty good boy. Let's see you follow this. He's good. I'll never beat him. shot my banjo. You can't be sure of that. That shot may have come from the grassy knoll. Of all the low-down tricks, I never heard of anything so low. I completely misjudged you. You are a pirate after all. I'd be proud to join your crew. Great. I'll just pack this stuff up and get ready. And give me back my gun. I'll need one more sailor for my crew. There's a plaque on this portrait. It says, Captain Richard Squawkins. There never was a more despicable knave, but we gave him an impeccable body wave. Another satisfied customer. Captain Charles Vane. The captain stood seven feet high in his boots, but you'd never have guessed that we dyed his roots. Jack Rackaham. Always a dapper crook. Jack wore the layered look. Captain Steve Grummet. He fought and he struggled. He kicked and he brawled. But when he left our shop, we made sure he was bald. Rachel Squall. This lady, we're certain, was no debutante. She killed 20 men while she wore this buffant. I've got what I need from that chair already. Hands off those cones. Those are ours. Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? You still haven't proven you can find anything of value. Come back when you have some real treasure to show me. It's been a pleasure. Bye. It's a great big vat full of red dye. Number two. This, this pie pan won't do any good there. This pie pan won't do any good there. This pie pan won't do any good there. It's a mug with a hole in the bottom. How inspiring, a budding young entrepreneur. The Surgeon General of Plunder Island has determined that ingredients in this product may be harmful or fatal if swallowed. This pie pan won't do any good there. I can't paste that.
Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. This isn't very refreshing. I guess you forgot about our bottomless mug policy. Thank you. Come again. Are you gonna give me my money back? You know, I'd really like to, but what is it they always say? Ah, yes. The customer is always a slave to the pitiless multinational corporations whose products they live to consume. So, no. Can I get you anything else? Are you gonna give me my money back? No. Can I get you anything else? Is the lemonade good? Oh, gosh, yes. It's a very helpful drink. Even better for you than placing leeches on your tongue. Wow. What's the lemonade good for? It's a dandy tonic for scurvy. It'll cure all your symptoms, including, but not limited to, gradual weakening, aching muscles, sunken eyes, painful gums, ashen skin, loss of teeth, internal bleeding the reopening of old wounds, diarrhea, kidney failure, fainting, halitosis, and death. Will it cure evil pirate curses? No, but it has a refreshing citrus flavor with no unpleasant aftertaste. Yeah, goodbye, you little brigand. Bye, mister. This biscuit cutter won't do any good there. And this biscuit cutter won't do any good there. I want to keep this biscuit. I may get hungry later. That seems like a waste of a perfectly good biscuit. Ha! Ah, that meat-flavored gum be looking mighty, mighty tempting. But right now I be having this insane craving for something crunchy. Something to crack me teeth on. Something crispy and crackly, like me mouth water and tongue torture and chicken and lighter fluid special. Hi, if I hadn't lost all me chickens, I could be savoring that succulent bitter squab right now. Bucket O Booty. A captain sized bucket of eyes beak. I don't need any more biscuits. I can't reach that high. I wish that was a real ship that I could use to sail to Blood Island. It's as thick. It's the two-way speaker for the walk. It's the two-way speaker for the walkthrough. Uh, hello. No, 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 no. 
I can't understand you. What was that? Eh, forget it. Eh, forget it. This pie pan won't do any good there. It's wet. Mm, no. I want to keep this biscuit. I may get hungry later. the bay. I want to keep this biscuit. I may get hungry later. It's the right size, but I can't plug the hole with this. This pie pan won't do any good there. I want to keep this biscuit. I may get hungry later. I want to keep this biscuit. I may get hungry later. This serrated knife won't work here. This serrated knife. This serrated knife won't work here. That doesn't need gum. I can't paste that. It makes the boat completely unseaworthy. It's got a huge hole in the bottom. I'd sink. I'd get a nasty splinter. I'd get a nasty splinter. The glove won't work with that. I can't use the skeleton arm. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. Those must be the pirates who've taken Elaine. Mm, no. I don't think she'd like that. I want to keep this biscuit. I may get hungry later. I don't think so.
Hey, Murray, remember this? I'd still appreciate it if I could have that back. What would you do with it without your collarbone? Oh, never mind. Do you know anything about lifting curses? Oh, right. I know a lot about lifting curses. That's why I'm a disembodied talking skull, sitting on top of a spike in the middle of a swamp. You seem bitter. I'm sorry. It's been a rough day. I'd love to stay in chat, but uh, I gotta go. I don't want those dull little scissors. It ain't my nickel. It ain't my nickel. I'm no vandal. I'm a pirate. I have to get the gum out of the machine first. I can't use the reed with that. The magic wand has no effect on that. The magic wand has no effect on that. It's a paper voodoo doll. It's a paper voodoo doll. Nah. I don't need it. It's just a toy. I don't need it. It's just a toy. Ooh! Migraine! I don't think he'd like that. I want to keep this biscuit. I may get hungry later. There are two important details to keep in mind when cutting biscuits. The first is about the kind of cut. Using a ring that has dull or rounded sides will squash the edges of the dough as it cuts. Because the layers have been sealed together, the result is a flat and dense biscuit. Make sure to push straight down for reasons of show your hand can go straight through the dough without compressing the layers. Make sure to push straight down for reasons I'll show in a second, and you end up with a tall and flaky biscuit. Twisting the ring while cutting will seal some of the edges together. This leads to a biscuit that rises inconsistently when compared to the one pushed straight down. My favorite way to use the biscuits is to cut them in half and fill with strawberries and whipped cream for a perfect strawberry shortcake. Or if you prefer a cake We're learning how to use a biscuit cutter. And um, you can get biscuit cutters in all different shapes and sizes. Uh, typical is round, of course but um, they come really large. To me, that's a little bit large. I think most people would probably consider that a cat head biscuit. And this is like a regular size biscuit cutter. And then this is a small for like 
uh, tea sandwiches size, but this is my favorite one. And you want to make sure you have enough flour that you can dip your biscuit cutter in flour. And these are more like a drop biscuit instead of like a, a rolled biscuit, so they're kind of wet, so you do need to um, put your biscuit cutter in there. And um, the old saying is, is you're not supposed to twist a biscuit cutter because it keeps your biscuit from forming all these wonderful layers, but these are really, really wet. So you're gonna have to, you know, do it that way on these particular biscuits. But you just mash it down, pull your biscuit out, and then re-flour it. And then once you get them all cut and put in your pan, then you've used your biscuit cutter. See, makes it nice round circle. And again, this is Angie from Angie Southern Kitchen, and you just learned how to use a biscuit cutter. Hey, I'm John Cannell. Today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making sky-high, buttery, flaky biscuits. So let's get started. First off, we're gonna measure out four cups or 480 grams of all-purpose flour. If you've never made biscuits before, it is so fun to do, and they're amazing compared to the store-bought kind. So you're gonna love this recipe. It's one of our favorites at home. All right, 480 exactly. Using a scale gives you the best results. We need one tablespoon of baking powder, that's our leavening agent, two teaspoons of salt. This is gonna give us our little bit of extra, you know, flavor. We're also gonna use two tablespoons of granulated sugar. Okay, now the fun part starts. We're gonna get one cup or 200. It's an ice bucket for a bottle of sparkling grog. It's an ice bucket for a bottle of sparkling grog. It's full of dirty dishes. Nothing makes a day on the beach like a generous helping of greasy, deep-fried food. It's coconut cooking oil. May I please have some of your oil? That oil is solely for the use of the fry station technician. I can't paste that. I want to keep this biscuit. I may get hungry later. The glove won't work with that. This pie pan won't do any good there. The A, B, mm, C's of ventriloquism. The magic wand has no effect on that. This serrated knife won't work here. This serrated knife won't work here. 
Mm, no. Mm, no. I don't want to carry that around. It's cold. Chicken Franks, chock full of processed beaks and waddles. Ugh, no. It looks like some of those are older than I am. I don't think he'd like that. Hi. Yes? Hand me a towel, young man. Those towels are for club members only. How about a towel? I know the secret handshake. Ever since Thurston the Hook Eddington joined last year, the whole secret handshake thing just got kind of messy. We don't have one anymore. But of course, all members know that. It's me, Biff, from the polo team. My pony's about to give birth. Quick, boil some water and get me lots and lots of towels. Not buying it, Mr. Mangy Pirate. The only way you can have a towel is if you are a member of the club. I was thinking of joining a club for snotty rich folks. Where do I sign? Well, it's not that easy. First, you'll have to get on our waiting list. That could take several months. Then there's the credit check, references, family history, the oral presentation, and the written test. Mostly dealing with Spanish treasure, pillaging and golfing in the greater Caribbean area. And then finally, our 14-step interviewing process. And then I'll be in your club? No, I'm afraid after that, I'd have to blackball. Let me have some of that cooking oil. That oil is only for French frying. It stays right here. Hey, what a coincidence. I'm French. Toss that baby right over here. You don't sound French, and you don't look French. And you don't know how much you're getting on my nerves. Gotta be going. Hi. Yes? What if I just washed up a bit? Then could I join your club? It's nothing personal, but club policy states that I have to exclude anyone whose odor or presence might disgust or offend the other members. I'm sure you understand. Please, can I join your club? There is no way this club would accept you. Sorry. Gotta be going. Mm, no. Brimstone Beach Club. Those towels are for members only. I can't paste that. Looks too big for me. It's stuck to the trunk. It's stuck to the trunk. No, I like the natural look. The label on the bottle says, paste will not adhere to dental work, hair, or cannonballs. Darn. I don't want to cut that. I don't want to cut that. I don't want to cut that. This serrated knife won't work here. I don't want to take advantage of the mystic energies. Mm hmm.
Hmm. Excuse me. Acting is my life. Let me join your show. Sorry, this is a one-man show. Hey, what am I? Chopped liver? No, not liver. Liver has a more appealing stage presence. Of course, what I really want to do is direct. Why? I've always dreamed of my own production. Titus Andronicus on ice. Brilliant! Who did you say knew about Blood Island? My agent. Most likely, he's at the Brimstone Beach Club. Who did you say knew about Blood Island? My agent. Most likely, he's at the Brimstone Beach Club. Carry on. Oh, Juliet, yada, 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 yada. Now is the winter of our discontentment, Gloria. So... Mm, no. Follow. I guess they changed the end of Romeo and Juliet. But I don't need a plank to walk. What fool then should I play the villain with this advice? I think I'll let him study his lines. And then. By which time the two of them house to against themselves all around the same country. Following which. I don't need reservations for that. It's as thick as gravy. And this biscuit cutter won't do any good there. And this biscuit cut and this biscuit cutter won't do any good there. I want to keep this biscuit. I may get hungry later. is full of maggots. It's a good heaping handful of healthy wriggling maggots. This pie pan won't do any good there. This pie pan won't do any good there. And this biscuit cutter won't do any good there. I shouldn't waste good maggots. Ugh. Brimstone Beach Club. Member since 1632. It's a membership card to the Brimstone Beach Club. Excuse me. Yes, you filthy little man. My card. Let me see that. Oh no! In the name of all things clean, you've got a membership! Yes. And I think I'll just take one of your fluffy clean towels and enjoy a nice relaxing stroll down your beach. No! You mustn't! I must. And perhaps I'll sunbathe nude. Sweet mother of pearl, no! Now that I think about it, 
It is nice out on the far end of the beach. You should go there. You should go there now. May I please have some of your oil? That oil is solely for the use of the fry station technician. Ugh, no. It looks like some of those are older than I am. I don't want to carry that around. It's cold. Nice fluffy towel. This towel is soaking wet. With these holes in my shoes, I'll never get across that hot beach. He's incredibly pale. Nice fluffy towel. I'll just take one more. Towels are all wet now. It's one ugly mug. It's also empty. 